What is up guys? It's King Archer 13 and today we got a couple things just sitting in the new Ranger that I got the other day. Hope y'all enjoyed uh, seeing what it looks like and things like that. Um, it's been really cool to drive around the yard and uh, I took it out to set out a camera at my deer lease and probably be going out there later today to put out some corn. For today what we got is uh, a couple things that got delivered. And let me flip the camera around. We got the goodie from No Limit and anyone guess what this is? I'm guessing from the title you can tell what it's going to be but we're going to be doing a little bit of work on my own truck today for the first time in a little bit. The rest of the week I'm not going to be working on any of my other customers trucks but I will be back following week I've got a pretty busy schedule um, right as soon as I get back I think I got a customer dropping one off uh, the day before I head back home but gonna get going putting these packages down here getting them unboxed uh, y'all saw the no limit stage 2 intake that went on my 2017 King Ranch the black one I'll put a link to that video if you haven't seen it above and also hey guys I want to do a giveaway of some sort uh, I think I want to start out with something small I'm gonna need y'all's creativity so comment down below what y'all think I should give away uh, whether it's a truck part or uh, maybe it's a hat or a t-shirt or something like that tell me what y'all want me to give away and I'll see if I can make it happen a quick little shout out to our shop outdoor trucks if you haven't seen our new plates actually let me go around to the front one that looks a lot better actually you know what it might not look a lot better because the bugs have been killer oh look at all these bugs they look pretty slick if you go to outdoortrucks.com you can go to our online store and get one for yours Speaking of my tools, I've got something special coming in that's going to go right there. Let me know what y'all think it's going to be. I think it should be here the next week or two. So as soon as it comes in, I'll probably make a video about that. Let me know what brand you think I'm going to get. All right, I had to make a quick hat change. This is my, this is one that's already started getting dirty. So I didn't want to dirty up the one I just started wearing <laughs> yesterday. But before we get started, quick shout out to No Limit Fab. We do a lot of business with them and uh, they had gotten one out to me for the 2020s. So this is going to be a stage one intake. Uh, they haven't been able to make a stage two quite yet. Um, I guess they're probably doing some more R&D and things like that right now. But this is going to be good enough for what I got. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not too horsepower crazy or anything like that when it comes to numbers. I just like to have my truck run good. So stage one's what we got and that's what we're gonna put on. Boot. Plant. Intake. Well, I didn't think about this. I just got done driving this truck. So it's gonna be pretty hot. I'm gonna try to start on it. If it's too hot, then I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit and put on this other thing that came in. Uh, I'll just quit saying it like that. It's a front valence. I'll put a link down to it below where you can get one off our website. Um, shipping probably to about three days, something like that. So. Um, you know if I'm getting to y'all I think I've got a couple in stock but if, if I sell out of those I'll just have them shipped to y'all nonetheless we'll get it out to you as soon as we can I know all the dealerships right now actually my local dealership that I do a lot of business with they're out of stock on them back ordered uh, just Ford in general's back order on
Sorry about the video cutting out. I don't even know what I was talking about, but I had a customer call me and that kind of happens a lot, but it's awesome. I love it. It's people that are watching these videos just like y'all that are calling me for quotes on tires, lifts. Uh, actually, this guy, he just called me about getting some 35s for his 20, I think he said 2016 350 King Ranch. And uh, I'm going to be able to get him a quote out for some 35s. I always recommend the Rich Grapplers to him for his needs. And then uh, the Fox 2.0s with the Rezies and some two inch spacers in the rear. So that should be a good stock looking, but stock looking but aggressive uh, King Ranch dually. That's gonna turn out pretty good. So I'm excited to be able to take care of him. But like I was saying, I think I was talking about the intake or about the motor being too hot. We'll see. No, what we were talking about was the valence. So, the valence, it's gonna be going on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that first because I know it's not hot. Enough of talking, let's get to working. The stock four wheel drive valence. If you look at it, it's pretty long. I mean, that's about six inches right there. I want to say maybe even a little bit more than six inches. We got some of the bolts out. What you're gonna need is an eight millimeter socket. And the first one is right, right here on both sides. And then the next one's gonna be, here, let me crawl under here, show you. All right, so that first one came out of, came out of that one. Next one's gonna be right here, which you can get from the bottom. Next one's here. Next one's there. Next one's there. Next one's there. There. And then right there. And then the other one on the opposite very end. But there are two. One right here and one right here. And you have to get them from the top. Let me see if I can show you. There it is, one right there. And then. barely see it right there so we have to get some, a monkey wrench or something for this and then try to figure something out with that one but uh then there's these things some of y'all may have seen on the 17 through 19s uh, what they call it is like the Prius stoppers basically because these trucks sit so high in case somebody plows somebody so that thing just stop it from the truck running completely over it. <sighs> okay guys so under the truck got the one side off on the right hand side uh, and I said monkey wrench I meant socket wrench got up in there with the socket that's where it was end up being able to use the socket wrench on that and then also there's enough room over here to use the socket wrench right there. So, got out some, got one more side to go. Got this side off finally. So, all of them are off. What you're gonna wanna do, you're, what, what you're gonna wanna do is take the clips off that one, that one, and that one. Same thing on the other side. There, there, and there. Off and put it on the other one. Now, I've got both of them out to compare. Yeah, you can see how much smaller this one's gonna be in the big old air dam. You should have 13 bolts in total. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these clips and swap them over. Um, but before I put the new one back on, I'm gonna get these Prius stoppers off here. Cause they're gonna stick out and they're gonna look hideous. And they're hideous in the so what it's going to take is an 18 millimeter socket and I use my Dewalt impact of half inch impact to get it off but anyways this is what sits inside of it back behind here and they're out like this just get one off on the I got the one on the front and then I got the one on the back and then it just fell out by itself so uh, they're on the insides of both and then they're also on the outside. Yep, there you go. 
all right i don't know if i'm just pure lazy or what but to get the one on the outside there's not a lot of space you could use a socket wrench um but i don't know i kind of want to just screw around so i put a ball, whole bunch of extensions together and we got it to run to the outside so here we go let me see if i can do it while i'm holding camera all right i'm gonna get a bunch of dirt and metal in my face Fell on my face. That's nice. But anyways, pretty stopper's gone. Finally get off. Check out. Show y'all what it looks like without it. I've already taken the clips off that one, and I'm gonna put them on this one, and then mount it up. So let's go. Alrighty. Finally got everything buttoned back up. I wasn't able to flip those bolts, so I didn't have to go up under there, but. Took an extra few minutes to do it like how it's supposed to. Would you? There she is. It looks better. So now that's done. That took me about, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes, which isn't too bad, but it's just it's just hot out here in Louisiana today. Enough of working under the truck. Let's get under the hood and get this sucker switched out. Before I take everything apart, so as we discussed in my 2020 versus 2017 comparison video, the battery has been put back here now instead of back up there. It's gonna be coming this way, but it's all very similar on these no limit and these power stroke intakes. Uh, very easy to do. If you know how to do one, you can do the other. All right, here's how she looks. 20 minutes. Eight millimeter socket, seven millimeter socket, uh, and what size socket do I use here? Seven sixteenths for the clamps. Eight millimeter socket there. Oh, there there is one eight millimeter bolt that you got to take out the screw that you got to take out there, um, and then you got to take this out. What you can do is take a flathead, push this top pin out, and then you take a flathead, take that same flathead, and get the bottom of it and bring it out and what piece was right there or this is the piece that was right there yeah, like, crap, which way? oh here it is see there that's where you took it out but yeah, pretty easy install let's see let's see how she sounds guys so got it all put on took it on test drive um, I tried to take some videos of how it sounded from the outside but I mean it wasn't really worth anything showing to y'all it sounds just like my 2017 after I put mine on um, it's a little bit more whistle noise uh, and then I do notice on acceleration that it does accelerate a little faster and a little better uh, I feel like it accelerates easier I guess uh, with less input but anyways, this is the stage one, no limit fab intake with the Pro 5 or the dry filter. Super easy install, took maybe 20 minutes. I would highly recommend it even if y'all are stock because it is a stage one, it doesn't require tuning. I did run into a weird situation where after I turned the truck back on that it went into high idle. So I don't know why because, you know, I had the map sensor unplugged for you know a few minutes while I swapped over the um, bracket for it so did high idle and then my AC stopped working for a little while and so what I did was when I took it for a test drive I drove it on the highway for about five minutes and turned the AC back on and it was working so a little weird thing I don't know what it is if y'all have any idea what that it might have been leave a comment down below but it didn't throw any codes I checked all the codes and cleared them and um, nothing came up so had me scared for a minute before uh, you know I go on a little road trip and stuff like that so maybe a good rule of thumb next time is not to do any modifications the day before leaving so that'll be the end of this video I had to 
kind of cut it short because sun's going down and I, I wanted to get some corn out before um, the sun went down and the feed store was closing at five o'clock and I got there about two minutes before. So appreciate Duke's Hardware for working with me and uh, let me pay over the phone. But thanks so much for watching y'all. I'm gonna get busy here, get to work, and hopefully see some deer and maybe some hogs or something like that come up to the corn. And uh, here, I'll, I guess I'll show y'all a little bit of driving through my deer lease. All right, take care guys, bye.